And I'm going nowhere, nowhere to be. The number of homeless people in Los Angeles has grown in recent years, prompting the mayor and city council to pledge $100 million annually to address this crisis. When I close my eyes. We asked those experiencing homelessness what they think the city should do with these resources. Um, I've been homeless since I was 13 years old, and I first got shelter um, right before I turned 18. Uh, a lot of times in the beginning of being homeless, uh, being turned down by family members, you know, of course you try to see, can you sleep on somebody's couch first or something like that. I was living in tents, I was living in under the freeway bridges, and it was just a hard but experience. Getting to the position I was in, I had, uh, I had a daughter that I was taking care of myself. Uh, single parent, and I got an operation on my leg, and uh, I couldn't take care of it as, as the way I wanted to, but being a single parent, working out in Burbank. Uh, this is, I'm native, I'm a native, I've been here all my life, and I used to, 20, 30 years ago, come down, feed people and what have you, I never would assume that I would be here. It's been really tough trying to find housing, living in tents and all, um, for the really the past three years. You know, if you had housing and you can start from that, it'd be a little bit easier to get you can go into leading to jobs, to school, to education, to whatever. If I was up for housing, I'd give someone else. You know, I see a girl over there with a kid, I'd give her, like, hey, could you put her ahead of me? Yeah, I mean, like, a lot of people are, like, kind of in my situation. It's either, like, kind of mental health or financial issues, and if they just had, like, a, a safe place to go, you know, housing just to get their themselves back, you know, step step by step. Get us off the streets and it'll just lift us up and help us become more of, um, what's the word, more empowered and um, stronger. And I'm sorry about my head. Homelessness has a solution. It's housing for people to come inside and supportive services for those who need help getting back on their feet. And I made five dollars jingling that cup till the rain came down and the money dried up. That's why I'm sleeping on a train.